Hey you guys, today we're gonna draw another character from Cupcake and Dino, my favorite cartoon. Who are we drawing? Sneaky Stan! Sneaky Stan! What do we need for this lesson? A marker, some paper, and something to color with. Alright, let's get started. We're first gonna draw his sunglasses, and we're gonna draw them towards the top of the paper so that we have room for his whole body. We're gonna draw two letter U's right next to each other. We're gonna draw one like this, and we're gonna leave a little space, and then we're gonna draw another one right next to it that's the same size. That's a good spot. And then you could put the other U on this side. Yeah, then we're gonna connect the top with a line that goes all the way over. Keep going, and then connect them in the middle too. Next, we're gonna draw his face, we're gonna draw his mustache, and we're gonna draw three lines, one under this U, and three over here under this U. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a funny mustache. Yes. Then we're gonna draw his smile, and we're gonna draw a smile that goes under his mustache, like that. Yeah, and then we can draw his cheek on one side. All right, we did it. Now we could draw his head. Let's start right here. We're gonna draw another line in between his sunglasses. Right there, yeah. Then we're gonna imagine that going across and coming out over here on the other side of his sunglasses. And we're gonna draw a big curve that comes down like this. Yeah, and then we can do the same thing on the other side. Draw, we're gonna imagine it going behind his sunglasses, coming out on the other side, and then coming down, and match the same length over here on the left. How old are you, Austin? Seven. Seven, you're doing a great job. I love your little sneaky stand. Uh, it's okay that our two drawings look a little different, right? Yeah. And it's okay if their drawings look different than our drawings too, because the most important thing is- To have fun. Have fun and to- Practice. Practice. All right, let's keep going. Now we're gonna draw his shoulders. We're gonna draw a line that connects the bottom. Look at that, it looks like an upside down U. So we're gonna draw a shoulder line that goes all the way over on both sides. So yeah, start there and come all the way over to here. Good, now let's draw his hair. We're gonna start over here and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down. He, I think he's bald and then he has really big long sideburns. Yes. <laughs> so start right here and draw a curve that comes down but it doesn't touch all the way down to his shoulders, it stops. Yeah, and then we're gonna curve back around like this, so there's a little hook at the bottom. Then we're gonna draw two bumps at the top. Boop, boop. Looks like the letter M. And then we're gonna connect it down to the shoulders. Now we're gonna repeat this same part right here, over here on this side, and we're gonna draw it the same height. So we're gonna draw that little hook that comes up. We can start right here, draw that little hook that comes up for his other part of his hair. Then we're gonna draw those two bumps. Boop. and then connect it down to his shoulders. Now let's draw three lines on the left side and three lines over here on the right side. That's the texture in his hair. Now let's draw his ears. We're gonna draw a C shape over here and a backward C on the right side. Yeah. He's looking awesome. Now he's got his eyebrows up here, but I think it might be part of his hair. So we're gonna start, we're gonna start right here. We're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes up over his sunglasses. So start there, come up to there. Yeah, and then we're gonna draw a wavy line. Like this, it looks like his eyebrows. Yes. So it goes down, come down, back up, and then back down. Yeah, and then right here we're gonna draw we're gonna have a point over here on the right, and then we're gonna come all the way back and just match the same line. Yeah, you're doing it. Keep going all the way to the sunglasses. All right, we finished his head. Now let's draw the rest of his body. He's got little shoulders on each side. So we're gonna draw a point over here that comes around and back, and same thing over here on this side. <laughs> Now we're gonna draw two lines. We're gonna draw one over here that comes down, and we're gonna draw another one that comes down over here also. Now these come down to the same length on both sides. There you go, one on the other side. Now we're gonna draw his jacket. So we're gonna start right here under his sideburns or his hair, and we're gonna draw another line that comes down and matches this outside line. 
Then we're going to draw another one over here coming down. Good. Now let's connect the left two lines and the right two lines. And then stop and then connect those two. Now we're going to draw his tie. Right here we're going to draw two diagonal lines. We're going to draw one, two. That's for his collar. Then we're going to draw his tie in between. Okay, now let's draw two more lines coming down towards the middle. This is for the knot on his tie. And then we can connect with a straight line. Then we're going to draw two more lines coming down further. See how far they come down? Yeah, one on the other side. Then we're going to connect these two lines right here with a V. We'll come down and back up. That's a really simple way to draw a tie, huh? Yeah. All right, now let's draw his waist. We're going to draw a line, connects to the tie, and we're going to imagine it going behind the tie and connecting to the other side. Yeah. Good job. Then let's draw one more line right underneath that one. This is for his pants. He's got really small pants. Yes. <laughs> All right, now we're ready to draw his legs. We're going to draw two lines over here on the left side, and we're going to draw two lines that are right next to each other and look how long they are. That's for one leg. Yes. <laughs> so you can come all the way down here, but leave some room for his shoes down at the bottom. Yeah, and then draw another one right next to it. And then let's do a, two more lines over here for his other leg. And we're gonna draw them the same length. Now we're ready to draw shoes on each side. Watch this, we're gonna draw a little curve that comes out. And we'll start on that one, we'll come out. And then we're going to do another one over here that matches. Yeah. All right, now let's draw the back of his shoe. We're going to draw a line that comes down, across, and back up. So draw it down, a little over, and then back up. Good. And then let's connect it to the front. <laughs> He's got little shoes. We're going to do the same thing over here on this one. Draw a line that comes down, over, back up and then draw a line that comes down and connects to his toes. All right, now on each ankle, let's draw two lines for the bottom of his pants. All right, Austin, what's he missing? His arms. His arms. Let's start over here. We'll draw a straight line that comes down like this and it's kind of come all the way down halfway to the middle of his legs. See how far it came down? Yeah, keep going. To right to the middle, so a little about that far. Good. Now let's draw another line right here next to it that matches. Now let's repeat that same step over here. Let's draw the line that comes down to the same length as his left arm. So start right here, all the way down to about there. Then let's draw that other line right next to it. What should we draw next? His hands. His hands. We're going to draw three sideways U's, like that. Then we're going to connect it up to the other line. He has three fingers. Yeah, three. <laughs> He's a cartoon. It's okay. Yes. <laughs> now we're going to draw three sideways U's over here also, but going the other direction. And then connect it up to the other line. Now, just like we did for the legs, let's draw two lines for the end of his jacket sleeve. And we'll do the same thing over here. Okay, we're missing one detail on his suit jacket. The it's S his pocket. the S pocket. Yeah, we're gonna draw a U shape. It comes down and back up. And then connect the top. All right, let's add a few little lines for texture right here two right here, and then three on the left side. All right, Austin, we did it. We finished drawing Sneaky Stan, and you did such a great job, except we're not completely done. What do we still need to do? Color it. Yeah, we need to color him. He's gonna look so much better, all colored in. This part, we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. While we were 
we're coloring Sneaky Stan, I forgot one other thing. Up here, he's got a little piece of hair sticking out of the back of his head. So we're gonna draw a sideways M. Curvy M. Bump, two bumps. Yeah, and then we're gonna color that brown. All right, let's keep going. Great job, you did awesome on coloring Sneaky Stan. It turned out really cool. Now I hope our art friends are going to do the same. You guys can pause the video right now to color your drawings. You think it looks better colored in? Yeah. Yeah, way better. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your sneaky sand. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. We'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sneaky, sneaky sand. Sneaky sand. Sneaky sand. <laughs>